What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Living Freed channel. My name is Tyler Freed and in today's video, uh, I'm on I-75. I'm headed north. I got a load out of the Atlanta area and I'm headed to a town just south of Toledo, Ohio. Got a nice little run, about a 700 mile run uh, from where I picked up at. And uh, yeah, so I'm getting pretty decent miles this week. I uh, should be able to clear 3,000 miles for the week, at least before Friday. And yeah, so in this video, I'm just going to be talking about uh, winter time and how that's pretty, pretty much here already. I mean, it, it hasn't hit everywhere in the country, but I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I do in the winter time as far as you know, driving a tractor trailer in the winter, in the snow, dealing with snow, dealing with ice. What do I do? Um, so, but first, before I get into that, if you're new to the channel, please like the video, sub to the channel, check out more of my other videos uh, that'll be recommended to you at the end of this one. Follow me on Instagram, the link to that is in the description below. And yeah, so what do I do in the winter? Well, first of all, it already we've already gotten a little bit of snow up in Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, up in the Northwest, so some areas have already gotten snow, but uh, I would say just about everywhere at night, it gets pretty cold outside already. Uh, I mean, even in Georgia, I just picked out, picked up out of Atlanta, and this morning it was low 40s. Uh, it might have, might have even dropped below uh, 40 degrees. It might have been high 30s. Really, it was really cold, and with the wind blowing and everything, like the wind's pretty heavy today uh, out here. It's getting cold. It's getting cold really fast. I really think we're going to have a tough winter. I really feel like the last few winters haven't been that bad. Uh, we did have some snowstorms and stuff last year, but I would say throughout the duration of the winter, it wasn't like consistently bad. There was bad storms, but it wasn't just all the time. Uh, unless you live up in the Northwest. I mean, it's just terrible up there all the time. But uh, I mean, I love it. It's beautiful, but I mean, the weather's terrible in the, the winter time. But uh, yeah, we've already gotten snow. I mean, I, I believe Wyoming got snow in September, like late September. And so, yeah, but Michigan, Wisconsin, they've already gotten a little bit of snow. And, and so what's my point? What am I getting at? Well, a lot, every year, you see massive 100 car pileups. Every single year, without a doubt, I have not gone one year in my trucking career without hearing about a massive pileup that killed a bunch of people. And really multiple pileups every year. And how can you avoid that? If you're new to trucking uh, or it's your first year and you have not dealt with the winter time on your own yet, it's very simple. If it gets bad outside, just shut it down. Don't try to be a hero. Don't try to push it because you want to make more money or make that extra money on your check. No, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth your career because if you do crash, that's going to be the end of your career anyway. And it could be the end of your life and somebody else's life. And see, the thing is, is, you know, you can be safe driving in the snow. You can go 25, 35 miles an hour in the snow and be just fine. But the problem is not really you. It's the other drivers around you. It's the people that drive the same way in the snow and in the rain and ice as they do when it's bright and sunny like it is right now. And so if you're at least listening to my channel, I'm not going to get to talk to everybody and most people won't listen to me, but it's not worth the risk to push it like that. In my opinion, it's not even worth the money. It's not because in the long run, if you get in a wreck, well, that's the end of your career anyway. You're not going to make any money in the long run. Or it could be the end of your life, like I just said. And so, it, look, it, if it's white on the road, then you need to shut it down for the night. That, that's my opinion. That's my rule. If I can't see the lines on the road because the snow is so bad, and if it's starting to ice over, and if I have to use chains, I'm, I'm shutting it down. If I need chains, if it's that bad, I'm shutting it down. And again, I've driven in very bad snowstorms. I've had days where I drove... 25 miles an hour for 10 hours straight and because I had to get the load there but after I did that a few times you know I realized it's not worth it I, I'm shutting it down that load of groceries can wait it's 
it's not worth my life, it's not worth my career in the long run. So I just want to talk about that before wintertime is full blown here. I mean, we're already starting to see very cold weather and a little bit of snow, but it hadn't really hit yet the major, uh, you know, the real dangerous weather at least. It hasn't really hit yet. And so uh, I, I just wanted to talk about that before this comes. And, and all the people that do drive already and are experienced drivers will probably sound off in the comment section and tell you the exact same thing. They're not going to risk it. They know that it's not worth it. And if you've driven for more than I'd say at least two years, you know, you're like, man, I've seen so many pileups. <laughs> like I said, it's just not worth it. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but uh, as far as, uh, you know, lately, I mean, I've been getting great miles. I kind of like when it cools down. I, I sleep really well at night. I don't really idle the truck at night when it's this cool out because uh, you have enough, like, insulation in the truck to, to stay warm enough. You know, and you have, and as long as you have thick blankets and everything, it's not that bad. I mean, once it drops below 30, though, every night and it gets down into the low 20s and the wind is blowing and it's snowing out, yeah, you gotta, you gotta have that bunk heater going for sure. You got, you, you honestly need to be idling, in my opinion, um, just to keep that engine warm and those batteries charged. But when it's cool and not freezing, oh man, it's perfect sleeping weather. Perfect sleeping weather. I love the fall, the summer and fall are the best seasons for trucking. Totally, like by far they're the best seasons for trucking in my opinion. Spring and winter, those are the most difficult. You know, winter is pretty obvious, snow and ice, but uh, I would say that, you know, the spring's pretty tough too. You have high winds and you have a lot of bad storms during that time of year. But summer and fall, man, that's where you make your money. And I'm really making my money here at Crete. They're keeping me running running really tight this week. I've had a really rough schedule. I've been getting up at midnight pretty much every every day this week. But uh, it's working, man. It's, you know, I, I actually prefer to drive through the night. And the reason is, is because there's less traffic and it just, uh, you, you get way more miles when you drive from like midnight to, uh, to noon. And, uh, that's the best time to drive in my opinion. But anyway, that's it for the day. This is kind of just a video and I just wanted to touch on winter time. Hey, it's coming. Uh, I believe it's pretty much already here <laughs> in a way. I mean, not heavy, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys for the video. Uh, and I will be coming at you with another video on Friday. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And uh, God bless. I hope everybody's having a great day and peace out.